welcome to another episode of Living Abroad Diaries and thank you to Housing Anywhere for partnering with me on today's video. Good morning, everyone. Welcome to my Sunday morning. I just got brunch on this day with my friends, and then we went to a museum in Munich, and all museums, or most museums, are only one euro entry on Sundays, so we definitely enjoyed this experience, and I definitely want to go to more museums. This one had some very cool modern art, and when I came home, I was a little hungry, so I decided to whip up a little chicken salad for my little like lunch slash afternoon meal. So I just chopped up some celery, chopped up some cucumber and a little bit of white onion, and I combined that with some shredded chicken and a bunch of seasonings and mayo and everything, and it honestly turned out so good. And I just enjoyed this while watching my favorite show. I'm having a little afternoon reading session and I wanted to show you guys two books that I am reading currently. So the first one is Secret Daughter. This is actually a book that I got as an Easter gift and I already am like 100-ish pages in. It has several different perspectives, so I'm interested to see how they end up tying together. But so far, I would really recommend it. I haven't finished it, but I'll keep you guys updated. I will pause right here so you can read a little bit of a summary here. So just pause the screen if you want to read that. And then I'm also reading Where the Crawdads Sing. And this was actually a Christmas gift. So I'm also getting around to this one. I actually watched the movie of this. Normally I don't do this. Normally I always try to read the book and then watch the movie. But I was on the plane and back from America and I decided to watch it. And it was really, really good. So now I'm even more excited to read the book and kind of see what the differences might be. Um, but yeah, just having a little reading afternoon. And so I kind of want to start a little series on my channel where I share more about the books that I'm reading because one of my goals for this year is to read more so let me know in the comments if you guys would be interested in hearing a little bit more about that but yeah i'm just gonna sit here on the couch and i'm gonna continue reading secret daughter hello guys so i'm sitting on the couch now and i wanted to film a little segment about moving to germany and also just moving abroad in general because my most like popular dm on instagram is usually asking how to find some type of housing abroad and things like that so i wanted to film a little section talking about that at least in my experience study and work abroad have been two really great options i use the same job hunting websites that I use in the US like LinkedIn and Glassdoor and these types of websites. And for educational programs, I usually will just kind of ask around if my friends have studied abroad. I found my school in Barcelona through my university in America. So it really just depends. I actually, when I moved to Germany, was considering several cities, specifically Munich and Berlin. I think they both have a lot to offer. There's also other amazing cities in Germany, but these were the two that I was um, looking at and I'm actually partnering with Housing Anywhere today to share a little bit about finding housing abroad and especially in Berlin. Berlin is such an amazing city. It is super international. I have visited it a couple of times and every time I've been there, I always love it so much. I know several people who study in Berlin. And there's a lot of big companies that have offices in Berlin and there's also great universities there as well. The food scene is definitely one of the highlights. I love international food and just trying different types of cuisine and that's something that you would definitely find in berlin it has a lot more of this bustling city feel it is very very large 
but there are a lot of cool neighborhoods in general it's an extremely diverse city and every neighborhood has its own distinct vibe and i just think it's a really cool city to live or to visit but in terms of finding housing because this is a huge question that i get for living abroad in general housing anywhere is actually a platform that i used back in 2019 i had gotten an internship offer in berlin and i was using that to find housing abroad i ended up not doing the internship but i really liked using this platform because it had such great options and i think if you are a student or if you're a young professional looking for a place to live this is a really great option super quick and easy to search for different listings and they have an advanced booking process so you can already have your place weeks before you get there and it's just like peace of mind knowing that you have somewhere where you can go to right when you land in the new city what i also really like is they have a safety guarantee so you can use their secure payment service which means that the money will not be received um, by the landlord until you have arrived at the place and verified that everything is as it is and if anything is not as promised in the listing you can get a full refund you can also securely chat with the landlord if you have any questions or anything you need to discuss with them about and the listings on housing anywhere's website are up to date really great multimedia galleries you can get a real feel for the place so overall i think housing anywhere is a great option if you are looking to conveniently and securely book an accommodation in a new city and you can click the link in my description box to get a 10 percent discount on your first booking so thank you very much to housing anywhere for partnering with me on this video I have just been doing a little bit of research for an upcoming trip that I'm going on and just kind of like organizing myself a little bit since I got back from America yesterday and I changed into this little workout top. I braided my hair and I have some leggings on because something that I have been trying to do on Sundays to combat the Sunday scaries is just plan fun activities. So my boyfriend and I decided that we spontaneously wanted to play tennis tonight. So we're making a quick dinner now of some tacos and then we'll go to um, the tennis courts for just like an hour. We rented a court and I haven't played tennis in so long. I think the last time I played tennis was in 2021. So I'm really excited to play it again and just kind of like get a little bit of energy out. I feel like it's good for my mental health on Sunday evenings and also um, just in general with my jet lag right now I feel like it'll help me sleep better because I was literally awake for four hours last night and couldn't fall asleep So that is the plan and I'm going to cook dinner now <laughs> Hey guys, thank you so much for watching today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. I am really excited to bring you guys along with me, especially as the weather's getting warmer. There's just more things to do and more places to see. So I'm excited to be filming some upcoming vlogs that I think will be really exciting. Um, and this one, I just had a really nice Sunday after arriving back from America. It was a super nice and productive day. I got to go to the museum. I got to go play tennis, which is honestly going to be my new thing probably. But in terms of future content, it's really important to me that I also am asking you guys what you would like to see over the next few months. So definitely feel free to let me know in the comments if you prefer more lifestyle videos like routine videos or reset routines or... Uh, food videos like what I eat in a day what I eat in a week or if you prefer more like travel content so weekend trips you know living abroad type of content or more work content like day in my life at my job things like that I would definitely be interested because I feel like those are the kind of areas that I'm 
interested in making videos in but i would love to know what you guys would like to see so feel free to let me know and thank you for watching today's video and thanks again to housing anywhere for partnering with me on this one and i will see you guys very soon in my next video